Hi YouTube, today we will be discussing the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. You get two videos from me today. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm the SP Nation. I am an OG YouTuber who is back. I am a luxury beauty reviewer. We're a very small community, especially within the black community. So I definitely want to be a part of that and help grow that and help the world know that yes, black people like luxury beauty. So definitely feel free to hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that like button. All your support means more than you'll ever know. Also make sure that you turn on your notification bells just so that you're aware of all the videos I have coming out and let's get to it. So I have my face completely done in that I have, you know, foundation, everything on. Now I want to go in with this particular powder that I did purchase a little while ago. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is of course from Charlotte Tilbury and from her airbrush collection that has been blowing my mind lately and if you have not gotten into that, you need to get into that. I'm going to go ahead and just apply it to my skin. I actually got this in shade deep. There's only four different shades shades this is shade four here's shade four in the pan and this is not deep at all and though I did stop supporting MAC Cosmetics back in, I want to say it was 2010. If you have followed me for a long time, you will know what that was about. And of course, since then, I bought, you know, a, a Rihanna lipstick. It was a part of a joke video. And I bought the Patrick Star powder as well, you know, just to show, show to support to someone that, you know, I felt, you know, is a good spirit. With exception to those two things, I haven't bought anything else from MAC because I don't support MAC Cosmetics. But, you know, as it relates to this powder, this is very much as far as how it looks. It's it's like a mineralized skin finish as far as the actual tone so it looks like something that may be ashy on your skin on brown skin however when you apply it because it's so fine it doesn't actually look crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a big fluffy brush I'm gonna swirl in here and I'm just gonna apply this to my forehead Kind of go in my t-zone because of course this is something that you would use if you're very oily you want to mattify your skin you could use it to you know give your skin a little bit more coverage if you're somebody who doesn't really like to wear you know a liquid foundation or something like that you could do it for that or you can actually just put it all around your face and i'm just gonna put it all over my face and again it's so fine that you don't even see it so i'm just patting this into the skin and then I will go ahead and follow up and set my face. And to set my face, of course, I'm going to use the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, of course, from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my God, have y'all smelled this? It's amazing. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder is eight grams as far as the amount that you get. Retails for $45 and it comes in four different shades like that of the bronzer. Per the Sephora site, it states that it's an ultra fine setting powder that blurs imperfections and visibly reduces shine. Coverage is medium, finish is natural, formulation is pressed powder for all skin types. Also states this breathable microfine powder technology gives you an immaculate complexion that acts like a luxe microfine cashmere veil on top of your skin or bright perfect finish. This product doesn't cake or sit in lines and then it also starts talking about ingredients and all this stuff. So essentially if you're someone who is you know oily and you want some type of microfine powder that actually has color to it and isn't translucent, if you want something like that on your skin then you would definitely be a candidate for this. But again this is for all skin types. Looking into a mirror, I have normal skin and this you know of course it does mattify the skin a bit. However it gives a very natural soft soft look to the skin. It does not settle into lines. Again, I've had this for just a bit and I have been testing it and it looks absolutely beautiful. Again, the airbrush collection from Charlotte Tilbury. Y'all not listening to me. You need to go out and you need to just basically buy one of everything in this collection because this airbrush collection has been one of the most amazing launches of 2020. If it did it come out in 2020, I believe it did this particular collection because with every airbrush product that I have tried, I have fallen in love with. So it's an amazing powder and it looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. And no matter how much I've put on, I'll put on, you know, just a lot while I'm testing it and it does not cake up my skin. I put it under my eyes and, you know, 
I have natural creasing. It doesn't actually settle into the, you know, actual creases and create some gunk or this, you know, look that I don't want. It does everything that it's supposed to do. The skin is mattified. It makes everything just look really soft focused and just kind of fake, which is totally fine with me. As long as I don't have to get injections or anything like that, if I can put on a product that'll do that for me, I'm cool with that. Because it's just like with the Guerlain uh, meteorites, it's the same thing. When people would look at certain photos of me and think that I was photoshopping my face, I was wearing Guerlain meteorites. That's just another thing that I've used in the past that I actually need to replenish on if they still make it. Like I said, guys, the airbrush collection, these are just three things that I just happen to have right in front of me. This spray, amazing. The bronzer, amazing. The face powder, amazing. If you don't have just one of these, at, at least get the bronzer if you want just one thing from the airbrush collection. Though I would say buy everything just because that's just how I am. But <laughs> this particular launch of products and just, you know, this powder in general, this is a really cut and dry, short to the point, at least short for me. This is a very easy win just because again, the shades, you know, again, they could expand the shades. That's really the only call out that I have for this product but as far as what it's supposed to do it does everything that it's supposed to do it's very nice it does cover a wide range of skin tones because again it does not actually you know whiten up your skin you know if you're my skin tone or deeper you're not gonna look crazy unless you put on shade one or something i mean that's really the only way like if you put on light versus putting on deep but again i probably could wear shade three too and i would have the same results if i were to just use setting spray but overall this is a great product do you need it not really but if you are someone who who does have you know fine lines if you have the desire to mattify your skin and you want to use something that's very fine in terms of the texture of the product and you would definitely like this airbrush powder definitely let me know if you have tried this particular powder do you love it do you hate it do you think it's a necessity definitely comment down below and I'll be back with a whole lot more guys bye